Hello and welcome to this video on the essential maths that you're going to need for GCSE Physics. Here we're going to be looking at magnification. So these are the rules that I like my students to follow when they're answering any maths questions in physics. I have marked a lot of maths questions um, in physics exams and I really think this is the best way to help you get all of the marks. For more explanation on this I suggest you go and look at some of my other videos where I go through this in quite a lot of detail. But very briefly, this is how I award marks when I set um, questions to my students. I give one mark for identifying the correct formula, one mark for plugging the numbers showing you're working, one mark for actual answer, and one mark for writing down the correct units. So this is the um, equation we're going to be looking at in today's video. Uh, magnification is image height over object height, and this one we need no units for. So quite often in this type of question, you're going to get an image which you have to interpret. Um, you could have squares to count. You may have to use your ruler to uh, measure how tall the object in the image is. Um, they may give you graph paper and um, you, you can look at the number of squares there are. Um, this is a typical image that you'll get. If you're confused about my constructions of the lines on this object, I suggest you go look at my video all about lenses. Um, but what we need to do is just, first of all, write down our equation. So magnification, we want image height over object height. So I've drawn some rough um, grid lines on here to help us. But if we find our image here, we go 1 two, three, four, so that's four over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we go by calculator and do four divided by ten equals 0.4. A quick way you can check you've got the equation the right way up, that you've got a sensible answer. Here we can see that the image is smaller than the object, so we're going to have a small number. So again, first thing we need to do is write down our um, equation. If you're confused about the lines, again, go and have a look on my video um, about lenses where I go into great detail and show you lots of examples on how to draw a lens. So image height, again, I've given you some lines. All we need to do is count the lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 9 divided by 1, 2, 3. And that equals 3. Now, I know some of you are going to have been tempted to do that calculation in your head but exams are high pressure high stress situations and you might make silly silly mistakes in an exam so hopefully you can remember to bring your calculator with you and i always want my students to do the simplest sums on a calculator and check them that way you can be sure that you haven't made a mistake just because of stress is situation and that's going to lose you marks which could potentially be the difference between a grade and potentially be the difference between getting you on the course that you want to do next year. So another um, image for us to interpret here. This is a different type of lens but it works exactly the same way. First thing we need to do equation. So our image, 1, 2, 3, divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, equals 3 divided by 5, 0.6. Now the majority of questions uh, you're going to get for this are going to be pictorial questions, but they might give you a, a wordy question. So, First thing we need to do following the instructions that I've just popped up here to remind you is grab our magic physics pen, circle all of the numbers in the question, write down our equation. So 
and plug in the numbers. So 3.2 equals, we need to find the image, so I always put an X in there, and the original object was 7.9. Now because we need to do some rearranging an equation here, this is likely to only come up on a higher tier paper. I don't think I've seen much rearranging on a foundation paper. So the way we need to do that is we need to move this up here. So that's 3.2 times 7.9 equals 3.2 times 7.9. And for this one, we do need to put units on because we're talking about the height of the object. Again, here we need to do some rearranging. So circle all the units in the question. Write down our equation. Um, so the magnification is 17.6. The image is 90 centimetres tall, and we need to find the object. So I'll just take you through the long way of rearranging it. So 17.6 times the object equals 90. So the object equals 90, divided by 17.6. I will make a video on how to rearrange equations for you. 90 divided by 17.6 equals 5 centimetres.